Can you say hi guys? Guys. Hi guys. <laughs> hey guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back or if it's your first time then welcome to our channel. So it has been quite some time since we have done a family vlog, day in the life, what we eat in a day. So that's what we're getting into today. We're getting towards the end of summer, but we're still soaking up as much of the sun as we can. On the docket for today, we started with a leafy green, green juice, as I like to call it, because we literally had like one of every green. We had collards, two types of kale, romaine, cilantro, celery, cucumber, and then we always add in some apple juice for the kids at the end. And we also had our ginger turmeric shots with a little crack of black pepper so basically it was like a salad in a glass tons of protein and iron in green juice you would be really surprised and calcium as well every time we do a juice for breakfast we also follow it with a smoothie bowl just to make sure we're getting adequate calories what kind of smoothie bowl should we make pink one you want a pink one yeah bubble gum we're gonna make some variation of a pink pitaya bowl with a little bit of plant protein so throughout the day, how we generally like to eat is very high, raw, rainbow, colorful, fresh fruits and vegetable dense meals, like juices and smoothies and smoothie bowls. And then we move into fresh chopped fruits and sometimes veggies with things like hummus and guac, big rainbow salads. And sometimes we sprinkle in some oat-based breakfast, like oatmeal, baked berry oats, or overnight oats or sometimes muffins or brownies by the time we roll into nice. dinner time. That's when we like to incorporate our large salads followed by a very hearty protein and iron rich soup, stew, curry, Buddha bowl, tacos. Following a flow like that with your meals will really, really help to optimize your digestion, heal your gut, and give you an opportunity to eat an abundance of fresh, raw, living foods that are rich in enzymes. We all know that a healthier gut equals a healthier mind. So if you wanna look your best, feel your best inside and out, eat more plants. On that note, we're gonna get our smoothie bowl in so we can be fueled up for a late morning workout. I just got a Peloton bike. I've been thinking about it for years and all of a sudden I decided, well, I might as well do the rental option. So I'm gonna give it a try and see how it goes. If you guys are Peloton riders, let me know in the comments, share your favorite instructors or favorite styles of workouts because I could use all the tips and tricks. Okay, so that was an extremely intense workout. I did a 30 minute ride. It was live, so there was other people and it was just such a cool experience. So I'm really enjoying my Peloton. Afterwards, off the bike, I did a 20 minute arms workout. So now I'm gonna make breakfast 2.0. Definitely hungry for something a little more substantial. So I'm gonna be making overnight oats, kind of like a raw oatmeal. You don't really have to do it overnight, even though it will tend to thicken and soften, but I find that even just letting it sit for 30 minutes, it's good to go. All it has in it is two cups of rolled oats, two cups of liquid, I'm gonna use organic soy milk, and then two tablespoons of ground chia and flax. I use one tablespoon of each two mashed bananas, two teaspoons of cinnamon, a pinch of Himalayan salt, and then you can optionally add in maple syrup for sweetener, probably about two tablespoons. Also optionally, you can add in a scoop of your favorite protein powder. So I'm gonna add one scoop of Sun Warrior Vanilla Protein. So like I said this morning, it has been quite some time since we've done a family vlog, what we eat in a day. And to be honest, when we try to make videos without the kids, it's actually more difficult because they constantly wanna be involved in anything and everything that we're doing, including juicing and blending. But of course, then comes the cleanup, which they also want to be a part of. So wiping up turmeric and green juice stains, they love cleaning up. So we just got this fun chore chart from one of our favorites, Love Every. And it's been super fun because Max has been really into good deeds. So we got this cute little book called Clifford's Good Deeds from the library the other day. And after reading it, it was a couple hours later, Max was like, mom, what are deeds? And so I went on to explain to him what a good deed was. And ever since then, he's been very eager to help out even more around the house. So he was actually begging me to get out the cleaning supplies so we could wipe down windows and mirrors. So we did the entire house and Liv was wanting to participate as well, but she was actually working in the opposite direction, which she often does. She was actually behind the scenes with the crayons drawing on the walls and the cabinets. So I have been going through the cleaning products. We have been using and loving Branch Basics for several years now for several reasons. It's non-toxic, it's hypoallergenic, free of any hormones, 
hormone disruptors and fragrance free. It's baby, kid, and pet safe. So the kids can help me clean the house. You can wash your produce with it. You can wash your hands with it. You can clean dirty pots and pans and stove tops. You just fill your glass bottles with water and the proper amount of concentrate. Give it a little shake and you're good to go. Branch Basics has come in handy for so many reasons. I'm such a huge fan. It's almost hard for me to bottle up how I feel about it in words because there's just so much I could say. There's so many uses. Whenever I'm out in the garage working out, Liv always tends to get into the bike grease some way or another. So she's had several outfits that I thought were ruined, but the oxygen boost has taken all of the stains out. She's put stickers on our glass tabletop and they don't peel off without the help of Branch Basics. So. For all of these reasons and more, definitely check them out. You can use the link below in the description as well as the discount code for 15% off starter kits. That goes for any of the kits except for the trial kit. So be sure to check out Branch Basics. It's amazing. So while the kids are out back playing, I'm gonna give them some fresh fruit as a snack and leftover smoothies in their popsicle form. So it works every time because I spend so much time and effort making super nutrient dense calorie dense, superfood rich smoothies. I never let them go to waste. When I put them in popsicle molds and give them a quick freeze, the kids eat them up. So just a little sneaky parent hack. And while they're busy outside playing, I'm gonna make these cool little fold ups. These were like viral on TikTok and I'm bringing them back because they're so good and they're super high in protein and iron and healthy fats. They're just like a great macro lunch for the kids. So I'm whipping up some quinoa for that and I'll probably also add the quinoa to my raw rainbow salad for a little bit more protein and calories. We're gonna do the refried black beans, our favorite roasted red pepper hummus, and then the quinoa. So I'm gonna add that to the wrap and then I'll probably also add some nutritional yeast and salt and pepper, fold it up, and then I warm it on the stove top. Okay, you guys, so after some debate, I've decided I'm gonna make a new recipe, and it is a spinach and lentil stew. So, one of my favorite Indian dishes is sog. So, this is a spinach dish, but I found this one, and it's got kind of an African twist. It adds lentils in, which are great for iron, protein. You guys know that we like to make these one pot stews, one pot dinners, so this should at least last until tomorrow for our leftovers. So, let's get into it. All right, you guys, let's get started. We're gonna start, like most recipes, by chopping both onion and garlic. You guys know we are oil-free, so I'm gonna saute these all down in just a little bit of water and then start adding our spices. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of turmeric, a teaspoon of coriander, just a pinch of each, fennel seed and cumin seeds. These are gonna make it so fragrant and just a hint of flavor. I'm gonna add a crack of black pepper and a can of diced tomatoes. Now you can do just the diced tomatoes with a little bit of tomato paste. I'm also going to add some fresh diced tomatoes just because it adds to the awesomeness of this recipe. I'm gonna let this all simmer down a little bit and then surprisingly, I'm gonna add some all-purpose seasoning. This is just gonna round out the flavors and make it more fragrant. Now, because this is a spinach and lentil stew, we need a whole lot of spinach. I'm gonna add about three or four big giant handfuls, dice this up and add it to our pot. 
mix this up, let it simmer down, and then I'm actually going to start my brown rice so this finishes at the same time. Now I'm scooping a little bit of this tomato spinach puree and blending it. I'm then gonna add about three cups of water, add back my blended up tomatoes and the red lentils, and let these cook and absorb all of this deliciousness. Now I'm chopping our potatoes. Like I mentioned, Erin is a sweet potato gal and I like these baby gold potatoes. I cook these face down on some parchment paper at 425 in the oven and they turn out amazing every single time. It takes about 25 or 30 minutes, but they come out crispy, crunchy, and almost like fried, but again, obviously no oil. Now the stew needed just a little bit of something, so I added a teaspoon of coconut cream. Now that my rice and my stew are done, I'm actually gonna toast some of our favorite tortillas. They come out crunchy, kind of like a non bread, perfect for dipping. Again, this helps the kids really enjoy the meal. I put more coconut on the kids, dish up some potatoes, we say our prayer as usual, and prepare to dig in. So the best part is that besides being high in protein and iron, the kids seriously love this one. All right, you guys, I am stepping out to do some evening watering. My plants are looking a little thirsty. If you guys wanna see an actual yard and garden tour, go back a couple of weeks. We just posted a super intensive and a hyper detailed video about our garden, growing sweet potatoes. I hope you guys like these recipes. You know you can find all of our favorite recipes in our recipe app. Download it by clicking the link below. If you like this video, you guys know the drill. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this video if you found it valuable. And if you guys haven't already, definitely check out Branch Basics. You guys, this is seriously clean cleaning products. We know we don't have to worry about Bo or the kids getting into them and they seriously do such a good job. You guys know you can always use our link below and our discount code to save on branch. We will be back with more delicious and nutritious content for you guys. Eat, move, rest, your best. Peace. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzics. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within. 